Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how to visualize a single quantitative variable by using ESTAT. Well, you know what does it mean the quantitative variable? On the textbook, there, there is one example. It's a auto lamp. It looks like this. What I'm going to demonstrate is how to plot dot graph and then how to plot this kind of mean standard deviation, and then how to plot histogram, also related to frequency table, then stem and leaf plot. Similarly, suppose you have a group. In case of group data, you need to enter data in this manner. Okay, one is analysis variable, but the other variable is group variable. Then you can plot dot graph like this, uh, individual dot graph, and then mean standard deviation graph, also histogram. We'll discuss these things. Maybe this is a stem and leaf plot. Suppose you have three group, maybe you can draw the dot graph like this, or a histogram. Or stem and leaf. Uh, let's practice this. Do you have an ESTAT with you? Type www.estat.me, then you will have a main screen like this. All the examples which use ESTAT can be found here. It's my server. I saved all the data file of your textbook here. There is one folder called ebook. Uh, in case of chapter 3, find this one. This is a simple continuous, continuous qu quantitative data. In case of quantitative data, we expect any kind of statistical package expect the type numbers in this manner. There are, I think, uh, 30 data. You just the type number. If it is not convenient, this is that maybe you may type in the Excel and just copy paste to, to here. Maybe you need to put name by clicking this one. That's all. Well, suppose you have a auto lens. This graph is not appropriate. That's for the qualitative data. You need this one. Click icon, icon for dot graph, and then click this one. That's all. This, this is the dot graph for auto lens. If you want to know some more, like mean and standard deviation, click this. Well, this is mean, and then you have a standard deviation, and Somehow to help you, I draw a line such that plus minus one standard deviation of this graph. If you want to plot histogram, they automatically plot like this. Well, in case of a histogram, as I explained in the previous lecture, well, we need to set up some kind of interval. This software has their own logic. You can change that. Anyway, I mean, on this histogram, you can draw a line about the mean, or you can plot the, system, the frequency of each interval, or frequency poly polygon, frequency table. Okay. This one will generate a frequency table related with the histogram. From here, on this interval, there are how many data? You have two data. Next one has four, four frequency, four frequency, eleven frequency, and so on. Suppose you want to switch this number of intervals. Here's one way. Well, where you want to set up starting point? 
maybe you may start from 60 and then you may consider maybe interval width can be 5 cm and then execute this interval will generate this kind of histogram on this histogram always uh, the number of interval is the issue but there is no exact answer usually we are using maybe 7 plus minus 2 that means uh, if there are 9 interval I mean excluding this uh, last one that's for visualization we have a 4 interval but maybe 5 to 9 that's 7 plus minus 2 what I mentioned would be desirable uh, there are some rule but that's not uh, theory okay that's from experience it's up to you suppose you switch the, the interval you can check that what it would be the, this kind of frequency table they generate a frequency table like this it is very useful another graph for single quantitative variable is stem and leaf flat it is natural we have a three digit number two digit we consider it is a stem the last digit we consider it is a leaf if there are many data on this 68 six greater than equal 68.0 less than 69 there are five number of data well their exact value is 68.2 68.3 6 7 7 etc it is a natural explanation okay we discussed the uh, i mean single quantitative variable some corresponding the graph dot graph histogram etc let's consider some cases we have group i mean this kind of simple analysis can be used in estimation and testing hypothesis in the later chapters let's look at second example is continuous data like this it look like middle school teachers age they surveyed that i mean gender represent one is a male two is a female like this how many teachers are there well, we have uh, 30 teachers okay. and the analysis of this kind of thing by using graph the same thing click here dot graph then first thing is analysis variable click here they're gonna plot dot graph about uh, the age variable but if you click one more it is click selecting the group variable depending on group 1 group 2 they have uh, they plotted uh, data in this manner it is very useful you can compare the mean it look like a uh, female teacher the average age is higher than male teacher but that is the observation of data later this kind of graph will be adopted here comparing two population mean well once you know this you click histogram they'll generate this one again you can check uh, their mean also you can check their frequency table in each group you have a uh, interval in each interval how many person belong it is very useful you may switch this uh, interval and plot it maybe you can plot stem and leaf things you can compare them in case of a two group stem and leaf uh, there is one option i mean you can plot stem and leaf though as a right wing left wing you can compare it easily how many person belong to this stem three means greater than 
30 greater than or equal to 30 less than 40 there are this number of uh, teachers suppose you have three group is it possible yes that's next example suppose you have uh, what is that This is a hot dog data. They check the calorie. The hot dog, one, two, three, maybe represent some other raw material. You may consider one is a beef, second one is a pork, maybe third one is a, some chicken like that. I'd like to compare them. What they are supposed to do? Clip appropriate graph and then clip this one. There is uh, no grouping. By clicking this, you are selecting the group variable. Okay? You can compare the mean. Also, you can compare by using histogram. If you have a large number of data, maybe you have to hit through histogram. Dot graph, maybe in case of Easter, uh, Less than 200 data is allowed. If it is more than that, you have to pull a histogram. Here you can check uh, the mean. You can compare the mean. This kind of three group comparison can be used to later what they call analysis of variance. Okay, you understand how to pull up the continuous data graph quantitative data graphs. It is so simple. Why don't you practice?